Hello, I am Kevin Duane, and I'm creative director of IamKevinDuane.com and creative director of Supreme Cleaning Academy. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to get into all the essential tools that you need to get started in the cleaning business. Now, if you go on my website to my resources page, you're going to see a lot of different tools and resources that I'm telling you that you need to get started in the business, but there are some tools that you don't need right away. Now, this video is going to focus on all the tools that you're going to need when you're starting your first customer. So let's get into it. Now, the first tool or product that you're going to need is a vacuum. Now, you want to make sure that you're not using a residential vacuum because those vacuums, they're just not made for commercial use. A commercial vacuum is going to last a lot longer. Those parts, they're, they're manufactured and they're made to last for commercial use. You can use them a lot longer. The motors last a lot longer. The belts are stronger. They last a lot longer. And just the, the, the bags, they're, they're, they're filtered better. They last longer as well. So a commercial vacuum is not the same as a residential vacuum. So you need to understand that right off the bat. Now, the vacuum that I recommend, the vacuum that I use are Windsor vacuums. They have different models. They have different variations of the upright version of the Windsor vacuum. Now, you have backpack vacs as well, and I'll talk about that in another video. So for this, for this particular video, we're just going to talk about all the essential tools that you need just to get the ball rolling with your first customer. Now, backpack vac that usually comes a little bit later. If you get a bigger account and you're trying to cover a lot of carpeted space, and we can get into that in another video. But for this video, we're going to focus on the upright vacuum. And the vacuum, again, that I recommend is one of the Windsor models, one that's around the six to $800 price range normally suffice for commercial use. And they last, they last a very, very long time. So, that's number one on the list is getting a good quality commercial vacuum. And again, you can go to IamKevinDuane.com, go to my resources page, and I do list the actual vacuum that I use and have used for many years. And then number two on the list is going to be microfiber towels. You need to invest in a bundle of microfiber towels. When I'm talking about a pack, a bundle of at least 50 to 60, 70 towels, because you're going to go through them and you need to make sure that the towels that you get are color coded because you want to make sure that the towels are designated to clean certain areas of a facility. For example, you don't want to use uh, a bathroom towel that you're also going to use in the kitchen. So you want to make sure that they're color coded so you can identify which microfiber towel is being used for uh, whatever use that you're designating that towel to be used for. So again, again, for on my website and the resources page, I do list microfiber towels. You can go there and you can purchase those towels right off my site. And I want to make sure that you understand that those towels even if you order them in bulk, they're going to walk away. Your towels are going to walk away, especially when you start hiring employees. They're just going to walk. You're going to lose some. You're going to lose some by the client, the customer. They're going to pick off of you as well. They use your microfiber towels. They go in those closets. They take those towels and they just end up disappearing, you know? So just that's something you need to understand going into it. You're going to lose a lot of towels so that's why it's important to buy just buy them in bulk save yourself a lot of headache and a lot of time go ahead and buy those towels in bulk just up top and just know as well they're going to disappear so if you start off with 50 or 60 i would not be surprised in a couple months you're down to 35 40 towels just that fast 
but the, the good thing about the microfiber towels, they're better than paper towels or anything like that and just rags that you can toss and just throw away because you can actually launder microfiber towels and they just last a lot longer. You can keep reusing them and you can distribute them a lot easier and all that good stuff. So microfiber is definitely the way to go. They're safe for many different surfaces. You can use them on glass, you can use them on porcelain, you can use them on stone. Uh, just all different types of uh, surfaces that you can use microfiber on. So that's definitely the way to go is using microfiber towels. And then you want to make sure that you have all the right chemicals. So you're going to need a variety of chemicals when you're getting started as well. You want to make sure that you have a good toilet bowl cleaner, you know, with uh, a decent uh, acid, uh, uh, acid, you know, you want to make sure it has the right amount of acid so that it's killing all the germs and all the bacteria and you're, you know, you're able to get out the water stains and the water marks and all that good stuff out of the toilets. And, you know, the, the better the product that you have as far as uh, cleaning your toilet bowl, the faster that it's going to help you clean that restroom because, you know, a good acid uh, uh, based uh, toilet bowl cleaner is going to eat up everything really, really quickly. It's going to do the job for you. So that's the thing about having the right product, you know, that's going to do the job for you. So it's going to mitigate a lot of the elbow grease when you invest in the right product. So that is very, very key. And I cannot stress that enough because a lot of people, they get into this business and they're trying to save money, which I definitely understand. But going to the dollar store, your local dollar store, and just grabbing things off the shelf. Yeah, it's good for quick use when you just completely ran out of something in that particular moment or that evening or that day. But you don't want to use something like that, you know, long term because it's going to show it's not effective. And again, you're just shortchanging the customer. So make sure that you're investing in the right commercial products. So the next product that you're going to use or the next chemical that you're going to use is going to be an all purpose neutral cleaner with a disinfectant in it. It has to have a disinfectant. So you just want to get yourself a nice neutral cleaner, something with a fragrance, you know, ideally, you know, something with a lemon uh, fragrance or an orange uh, smelling fragrance, something that's going to leave a nice fresh scent for the customer and normally those scents they last for quite a while sometimes they dissipate you know throughout the course of the night but that freshness is still there that fresh smell is going to be a hint of that it's going to still be in the air for the customer when they come in the next morning and i have another video where i'm talking about how to how to keep your restroom smelling fresh you know by applying uh different fragrances to a napkin or something and just throwing it into the bottom of a liner and it you know gives off the fresh smell for the next day and it lasts several hours so that's in a different video you can go and uh, look at my playlist and find that particular video where i'm talking about how to keep your uh, restrooms fresh now the next product that you want to want to look at is a uh, glass cleaner that has ammonia in it now you have to be clear that you're not using your glass cleaner as a neutral cleaner as well. Now it does have ammonia in it. It's, I, I guess it can kill some germs, but that's not what the intent of using glass cleaner is supposed to be used for. So make sure your glass cleaner is being applied to glass only and that you're using a neutral cleaner with disinfectant in it for all your other surfaces. Then the next product you're gonna to wanna to invest in is a stainless steel cleaner. You want to make sure you have a good stainless steel cleaner because that can make the difference, all the difference in the world for your customer as well. When you apply the right stainless steel spray and you're wiping everything down and it's got a nice, clean, fresh shine to it, it really makes a huge difference versus just wiping it off, you know, with a rag and trying to use glass cleaner on it. And it may, you may have the impression that it is nice and clean, but if it's not shiny, it just doesn't pop the same way as when you're using a nice stainless steel spray on stainless steel. So make sure that you're investing in uh, stainless steel when you're uh, cleaning stainless steel. So the next thing you want to look at is a, um, a duster. You want to make sure you have a duster uh, with an extension on it ideally. You know something at a duster that can extend at least 15 
uh, even possibly 20 feet, 25 feet, because that's going to help you get into your high dusting areas. And you know, it can pivot. Uh, most, you can find some that, could, that has a head on it that could move around 360 degrees. And that just helps you get in all the nooks and crannies when you're trying to get into your high dusting areas. And the customer, they definitely notice, especially when that natural daylight comes into that facility the next day and they've had cobwebs they have noticed those cobwebs there during the course of the day so make sure you're always getting your corners and you're trying to get into your high dusting areas because a lot of times you don't see that at night but once that natural daylight comes in you know it just illuminates everything and a customer can see that their facility hasn't been high dusted so you don't want to get caught with your pants down make sure you invest in a duster with that extends and it has a head on it that can move around 360 degrees so you can get in all the nooks and crannies and all those different spaces. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you invest in a brute. Uh, now, the typical brute is about 55 gallons. So you wanna make sure you invest in a brute with a dolly with the wheels on it. So, so it just makes life easier when you can just move that all over the place. And you also wanna invest in a caddy bag. And that way you can store, you know, your duster and your uh, microfiber towels and all your chemicals and all those things around. So you don't have to lug them around separately. Just get yourself a caddy bag. You can strap it on to your 55 gallon brute and you just have everything in one place, nice and simple, nice and clean. And it just helps you just to be way more efficient. So you're definitely going to need those items. And then after that, you want to make sure that you invest in a soft, bowl brush a soft bowl brush and again i have links to all these different uh, products and chemicals on my website iamkevinwayne.com in the resource area now i do uh, list this particular bowl brush that i'm talking about it's very very soft so it's not going to scratch or stain the porcelain and i've seen that happen where a, an abrasive bowl brush was used and it actually scratched uh, the porcelain of a urinal or a toilet bowl and you have to submit a claim through your insurance company and have that replaced especially you know if a customer becomes irate and they're you know pissed off you know to say the least you're going to have to either come out of your own pocket or submit an insurance claim to have that replaced and just something that you just naturally not thinking about when you're new in this business you make sure that you have a soft bowl brush to clean the urinals and to clean the toilet bowls. It can save you a ton of money, time, and prevent you from losing a contract because I've seen that happen to people before because it's just not something that's on their radar and it's not something that they're naturally thinking about. So after you invest in a, a bowl brush, you wanna make sure you get yourself the right mop heads. Now mop heads, they come in different variations and different colors. And just to make this very, very simple, you wanna get yourself a medium mop head because it's lightweight you know it's, it's looped it's easier to swing uh it's you know they have heavy duty mop heads you, you can get yourself a green one or a blue one ideally you want to get the green because they typically last longer they're uh, geared towards uh, heavy duty use so you want to go with a medium green looped mop head to start off with and then maybe later you know if you have a lot of floor that needs to be mopped but you don't want to wear yourself out so you have to be careful you can go to a smaller uh a green looped mop head and it just makes life a lot easier because it's easier to swing the thing that you have to understand is that you're going to cover less area because the mop head itself is smaller and then after you invest in a mop head of course you want to make sure you have a mop bucket and just you just get yourself a simple 3m a rubbermaid mop bucket with the with the ringer on it. it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to be anything over the top we're just talking about having the basic essentials as far as tools uh supplies and equipment and all that stuff to get started so just get yourself a basic 3m a rubbermaid um a mop bucket with the ringer in it and that should suffice for what you're trying to do and you can get those at various price points they're different sizes just get yourself a medium size a mop bucket and a ringer to go along with it and then after that you know this is a bonus make sure that you invest in a laser distance measure 
and even though that tool is used when you're trying to come up with the pricing for the customer because you're using that to grab to gather your square footage the reason that you want to make sure that you have this even after you start your contract is because sometimes you may miss an entire area that wasn't even part of the bid because it was missed by the customer and it may be just one of those one-off areas that a customer simply didn't show you but then once you start they just add it on so that a lot of people get caught off guard with that so make sure you have a laser distance measure and again there's a link on my website for a laser distance measure make sure you get this tool because if this happens to you then you can go ahead and you can quickly gather that square footage get your pricing and build it into your uh, agree your agreement with your customer so these are the basic essential tools that you need out the gate no matter what the client is no matter how large or small that facility is these are the basic tools that you're going to need to get started in a professional way in a professional way so make sure you invest in these things you can go on my website again and check out all these different uh, products and tools and things and again if you're new to my channel uh, please subscribe like comment uh, thank you for being here thank you for watching i really appreciate it uh, be prepared for more content there's a lot coming and thank you for watching